Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Warzone and I wanted to share with you guys the best custom loadout for the M4A1 Assault Rifle. Now for most of you guys that play Modern Warfare Multiplayer, you guys know this is one of the biggest, most popular weapons in the game. However, in Warzone it's a little bit different. There's not nearly as many people that are running this thing. And I wanted to give you guys a pretty decent class setup that I have been using recently. Obviously a lot of things change with, with weapons being nerfed, weapons being buffed. And, uh, and the growl was always the meta in Warzone, and now that that's kind of taken a back seat, a lot of people are trying to find new guns to run around with, whether it's to just do better or just have more fun by using different things. And uh, I wanted to make the M4 class in this video. I'm going to share with you guys a couple different variants, some attachments that you can change kind of based on your play style, and hopefully you guys will be able to find something that you like in this video. So what you're watching right now is me demonstrate what this specific class is going to play like against some multiplayer bots. Uh, I have upped the damage or the health on these bots so that you can get a better understanding of what it's going to be like when using it in Warzone. Um, if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using for this specific M4A1 class setup, the muzzle that we're going to be using is the monolithic suppressor. I feel like this is almost a given with every weapon that's going to be used in Warzone, especially with our ARs here, giving us sound suppression as well as damage range and a really nice boost to that accuracy and range. You guys will see here that we end up losing a little bit of ADS speed and we're going to lose that with a lot of the attachments. You got to keep in mind in Warzone, we're not going to have a lot of those really close quarter gunfight situations with our ARs, we want to go for distance and recoil control, so uh, losing ADS speed will not be a huge deal with this specific class setup. Again, the monolithic suppressor muzzle. The barrel that we're going to be using is the stock M16 Grenadier. So uh, a lot of people kind of go back and forth between the Grenadier and the Corvus Custom Marksman. Personally, I like the Grenadier a little bit more. You're getting a little bit more accuracy range control. As you guys can see with that Custom Marksman, you're actually saving yourself a little bit of that movement speed, uh, giving us a little bit more of a boost in mobility. But obviously, we want to go for long range. We want to be as accurate as possible. So the stock M16 a Grenadier barrel is what we're rocking with here. We're not going to be using a laser. I don't think using a laser on your AR in Warzone is worth having, so we're going to keep that off. The optic that we're going to be using is the Corp Combat uh, Hollow Sight. This is a holographic sight that I have really, really enjoyed using lately. I'm sure you've seen a lot of streamers, a lot of popular YouTubers that have been using this sight on a lot of their weapons. It is so much fun to use. It does really, really well from range. Obviously, as you guys can see, we're getting a really nice boost to accuracy, as well as a small boost to range here. So the Corp Combat Hollow Sight, uh, again, here at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you guys something where you could take this attachment off and add something else. But for this specific class setup, that's the optic that we're running. We're not going to be using a stock. Now, the underbarrel that we're going to be using is the Commando Foregrip. I always recommend using the Commando, obviously because of the recoil stabilization and the fact that we don't lose ADS speed here. Uh, like with most of the underbarrels, a lot of these foregrips, you lose more ADS speed, and we're already losing a lot of that. So we want to prevent that from happening. So the Commando Foregrip is a really, really great way to go, giving us a nice boost to that accuracy, range, and control. Now, last but not least, the ammunition that we're going to be running is probably the most obvious attachment here, and that is the 60-round mag. If you guys haven't figured this out by now, you probably won't ever, uh, but it's very, very important to have the highest round mag possible here for this M4. The 60-round mag is a great way to go and will really help you out from long range, whether you're missing a few shots or, uh, or they have a lot of armor. So 60-round mag, definitely a great attachment to have. Now, one uh, adjustment that I want to share with you guys, if you guys don't want to run an optic, I know a lot of people in Warzone don't like wanting or to run that optic. Um, um, and one thing that you can do is you can actually take that optic off, and that'll give you one free slot. And what I would recommend doing is running the rear grip rubberized grip tape. This is a really, really good attachment for that accuracy. As you guys can see, we're getting recoil controls our pro, giving us a really nice boost to that accuracy, which will help significantly from long range. Now, the stats show that you end up losing control here, which you don't because the only con is aiming stability, and we're not going to have idle sway on an M4, especially since we're not running the no stock attachment. So essentially, the stats are lying here. You're just getting a really nice boost to accuracy. So again, a free perk, but if you don't want to run an optic, rubberized grip tape is a really good way to go. Uh, if not, just run the Corp Combat Hollow Sight, and you guys should be able to do a really, really well with this class setup. But if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific Warzone M4A1 class setup, please make sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.